We're in North Minneapolis. Chief, the Minneapolis Police Department's new bloodhound is in this truck. I'm going to take off into this park somewhere. He's got my scent and he's going to find me. Do you want to go find that bad guy? Huh? Do you want to go find her? Right. Officer Bonnie Edwards grabs Chief. I take off into the park and she's about to use what's called a scent machine. It's just a vacuum that sucks the scent up onto this pad. Edwards gets my scent off the car seat. You ready? Chief huh? smells the pad. All right, buddy. We see the track. He's off in my direction. Edwards watches her dog and the wind. It can blow the scent off target. No one knows where I've hidden. Now he lost her right here, so. A hesitation, and then he's got me again. Up the hill and around the trees. Did you get me? Did you get Atta me? Boy. Good, Good job, boy. Chief. Good boy. Oh, yes. Good job. <laughs> you found me. Bloodhounds are oh, made for this job. Boy. Their ears, longer than their nose, help scoop up the scent from the ground. The loose skin around his mouth and his jowls will also help him trap the scent so he can taste it as well as smell it. Edward says Chief could do this same track five days from now. Yeah, I know, Chief. You could. I know you can. This is the real thing. Officer Edwards just got called to a scene where a man has a gun. Out of the car, gun drawn, Edwards surveys the situation. This guy's got a gun. We, we need you inside just in case something bad happens, okay? The man's subdued. Chief isn't needed this time. But it's nice to know he's here when we do. It's absolutely doing something for our department and for the citizens. And this is, this is for, for them. Minneapolis is one of only two departments in the entire state with bloodhounds like Chief. It's hoped that this dog will make the difference in finding everything from that kidnapped child to the missing Alzheimer's patient. In Minneapolis, Allison Triarce, 5 Eyewitness News.